Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the classic Xbox and how to remove the clock capacitor from it. If has got one of these, the biggest threat to it is the internal clock capacitor, which over time leaks. It's not really a case of if it leaks, it's when it leaks, because really they all do. There are a few variations of this Xbox. I believe version 1.6 doesn't actually have a clock capacitor in it. But all the other variations do. So what I'll do today is we'll disassemble the console, remove the capacitor and clean up the area round about if there's any leakage. Before we go ahead with it I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors over at PCBWay. I would like to give a special mention to our friends over at PCBWay for kindly sponsoring this week's video. Whether you're a professional or hobbyist, PCBWay will serve your needs. Simply upload your PCB design and PCBWay will take care of the rest. Or why not browse the thousands of projects already on the site? PCBWay offer a highly professional service and fast turnaround. Sign up today for your welcome bonus using the link below. To disassemble the console, we've got screws under these feet here, one behind this sticker and also one here, so we'll go ahead and remove them. I don't completely remove the feet on them, I just lift half of it up to get, gain access to the screw. Ok now that we've taken the screws out we'll turn the console back over and remove the lid. To get access to the capacitor we're going to need to remove the DVD drive and the, the hard drive. There's a screw here so we'll take that out, that helps us take the caddy off. There's also another two screws that hold the DVD drive in, so we'll remove them. Unplug the drive and remove it.
So what we have here is a version 1.1. How we can tell that is it has a second fan. Usually the other variants do not have this fan on them, they've only got the case fan. The capacitor we're looking to remove is this one here. I can see from here it's been leaking. Not too bad at the moment, but over time that would just kill the board off, so we'll go ahead and remove that and clean up round about it. So I've zoomed in so we can see better. This is a capacitor here we're taking one to take out. Now there's two ways to remove this capacitor. The right way and the not so right way. The right way would be to take all the screws out the the motherboard, turn the motherboard over, desolder the through hole pins and just pull it out. But today I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to gently twist it off. If you choose to use this method, just be very careful and take your time. Luckily there's not much round about it to damage, so as long as we don't pull too hard on it, then it will come off. There we go. As we say that, as we can see that came off without much persuasion, it just took a couple of gentle twists and it came off. So what we'll do now is we'll put some alcohol in this area here and give it a clean up. So I'm just going to use a cotton bud to clean the board up. As you can see the area's cleaned up quite nicely. Removing this capacitor means not going to run into any issues in the future. Most of the other, all the other capacitors look okay. So let's now go ahead and reassemble the console. First goes on is uh, the DVD drive. So that's us came to the end of another video. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye.